All right, let's discuss some of the new upcoming characters for version 1.5 in Honkai Star Rail. First off, I'd like to just give a quick rundown or a pre-analysis if you prefer on the three new characters releasing as well as my own personal thoughts on them and their respective banners, aka do I think you should pull or do I think you should save for each character depending on your own situation. So without further ado, let us hop in. All right, let's kick things off with our first character dropping in version 1.5. It's going to be Hua Hua on the first half. She is our five star wind abundance character, which is a little bit different than the other five star abundance characters we already have at the moment, mainly because of her ultimate. Her ultimate is able to provide energy for the entire team as well as increase attack. We all know in a turn based game, there are two most important things, right? Energy and speed. Yeah. This is going to be very huge, especially if you want to combo her maybe with like a Ting Yun, because uh, Ting Yun also provides energy. So if you're pairing Ting Yun with Hua into any of your DPS team comps, your DPS is going to be popping off. L literally left and right, ultimates being thrown out nonstop. I would say that would be a very good team comp and a very good pair. On top of her being able to provide energy for the entire team, uh, she also has a splash heal. So AKA she'll be picking a main target, giving them the majority of the heal, and then as well as the adjacent teammates surrounding them. So if you're picking a teammate in the middle in slot number three, slot number two and four are also going to be getting uh, a little bit of healing off of that as well. And her skill ability is also able to cleanse while providing teammates with HP restoration at the start of their turns or whenever they use their ultimates. So overall, it seems like she has it all, right? She has a splash heal. She has a cleanse. She has that continuous restoration at the start of their turns or with their ultimate. She's able to increase attack for the team with her ultimate and also be providing energy. It seems really good. Yes, I think she also has a bonus uh, ability and a bonus trait that helps her with crowd control resist and able to resist more crowd control effects. Um, so overall, I'd say that Hua is a very good abundance character. If you have no like Locha on your team and you did end up skipping Fu Xuan, for example, I would say she's worth it. Me at the moment, I have a Bailu, I have a Japard. I've been able to breeze through content, uh, the memory of chaos very easily without that. But if you are in the situation where you did end up skipping Fu Xuan, you did end up skipping Locha, I'd recommend that she is a very good pick mainly because she does have like pretty much everything. Her banner in terms of like the banner value, we're looking at Don Hung four star, Arland four star and Serval. It doesn't seem the most exciting compared to what's coming up on the second half, our Gentsy banner with the newest character. We'll get into that. Uh, so yeah, do do understand that the, ba the banner pull value isn't the greatest in my opinion, but I do think Hua as a as a whole is very good. Quickly jumping over to the next character, second half, we have Argenti, our five-star physical erudition character, who's going to be good against multiple enemies, obviously, because he is an erudition character. So he is an AoE physical type damage dealer. His uh, ultimate is a very unique ultimate that we haven't really seen in the game yet. Uh, they said that he's able to unleash more damage depending on how much energy is used. So apparently you're able to pick, do you want to use like a little bit of energy to dish out a little bit of damage, or do you want to use up like all your energy to dish out greater damage so low energy ultimate will do aoe damage to all enemies while the all energy ultimate will do greater aoe damage to all enemies with an additional hit to a random enemy he's also able to gain stacks of something called self cultivation which will be increasing his crit rate and the more enemies there are in the field for our Genti to attack basically means more energy for him which equals to more stacks of self cultivation Basically, our Genti is going to shine when you're going up, up against a huge group of enemies, which I guess, you know, obviously Erudition is going to shine at that. I want to say uh, he might also excel at this new end game game mode that's coming out. It's it's uh, it's something it's uh, the other half of Memory of Chaos. If you guys didn't take a look at my previous video about what's coming with the version 1.6, there's going to be a Memory of Chaos for 11 and 12, but there's also going to be something called Pure Fiction. It's much like the Planar Infinity event I think we had, where there's going to be endless waves of enemies, and you get your score based off of how much damage you're dealing to the enemies and how many enemies you're killing, and it's just wave after wave after wave. It's never ending. You basically just have to keep going until, I guess, timer runs out, the round count runs out, or 
whatever and you're able to also get stellar jades that way as well i personally think argenti might excel in this going off of his kit right here we don't really know too much in terms of like the fine details he is on the second half and Oreo vs Honkai Star is going to be waiting probably like a week before his release so do keep uh in touch we will be reviewing his full kit this is just a pre-analysis I just wanted to throw out my thoughts on what I think about him right now in all honesty I, I want to know more about his ultimate with the whole energy consumption thing more damage less damage etc right now as what I'm reading the kit seems kind of eh, for me let me know your thoughts down below on what you think about Argenti the main character that I'm actually very excited for is going to be the third one, Hanya. She's also on the Argenti banner. She's a four-star physical harmony character, and her kit actually makes me very happy because of the team comp I'm going to throw her in. So, let's start off with she is able to place a curse mark on the enemy, which makes the target take increased damage. Pretty good. It's kind of like Topaz, right? Topaz puts proof of debt on a target, and that person with proof of debt takes more increased follow-up damage. This is kind of like Hanya. This is the same thing, no? We're putting a curse mark on the enemy. Makes the enemy take increased damage. Really good. She's also able to replenish skill points if that curse marked user receives a certain amount of hits. Nice. And her ultimate increases speed and attack for a single ally. So already off of that entire kit, it's basically saying she's going to be very good for hunt characters. Your Su Shang, which is what I'm going to be running because I want to try and build a physical team comp. Uh, your Zila, Don Hung, the green Don Hung, not the uh, Don Hung Isle. Basically, any of your hunt characters, any of your single target damage dealers, she's going to be really good. She'll also be good for, like, destruction characters, you know, Jing Yuan, or not, not Jing Yuan, Don Hung Isle, uh, Jing Liu. I always mix those two up. She'll be very good because she's also increasing her speed. She's increasing attack for a single ally. She's putting that curse mark on the enemy, and that enemy is taking increased damage on top of skill points are coming back so if you're in a team where you know you keep using a lot of skill points she could very well help you with that because she's able to help regenerate skill points back pretty much any hunt character right every hunt character uses their skill to dish out more damage so i think hani is going to be really good definitely looking forward to her she'll be great for hunt characters and other damage dealers out there for your team comp the banner for the second half argency banner it's also a very good banner in terms of pull value you have Hanya, who is the newest character, so flavor of the month goes to her. You have Lynx, who is one of our recent newest uh, four-star abundance quantum characters that I still don't have yet. I think she's really good because of her kit. And we have Asta. Everyone knows Asta already. Speed Demon, really good. Speed is king, basically, in turn-based combat, so can't go wrong with that. And then, of course, you have Argenti, the newest five-star character as well. So let me know your thoughts on which character banner you think looks more enticing. Second half is definitely looking more enticing. And if you don't even want Argenti, but you want the four star characters because they look enticing, uh, they're supposed to be a rerun, right? Isn't it going to be the Zila rerun or SW? Sorry, I, I keep mixing those words up. It's going to be the SW rerun. So Silver Wolf is coming back on the second half. You can choose to roll on her banner and still benefit from those four stars on top of that. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the video. This is my pre-analysis, just my thoughts on what I think about the characters, who I'm most excited for. Please let me know down below who you guys are most excited for, if you guys are skipping. I know after they teased 1.6 with Ruan Mei, Dr. Ratio, and uh, Shui Yi, a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm skipping 1.5. I'm out of here. You know, I personally want Hanya. I think she does bring a little bit of uniqueness to the team or to the, uh, to the field, to the game. So I'm going to be rolling for her. Let me know who you guys are going for. Thank you guys very much for watching. We will be having more in-depth guides for Hua whenever she releases in a couple of days now, as well as Argenti and Hanya. So be uh, make sure you guys are subscribed for that if you guys want to catch the full in-depth guides for them. A couple of days away until 1.5 comes out. Hope you guys saved up your, uh, your immersive fires for the new relics. I'm excited. All right, Jingyuan's coming back. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.